Hey booze and welcome back to another AI test. So today we got a full build B1 AI tournament for Oob. So starting it off we got Oob with Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Secret Measures and Spiritual Control with Rakum AI versus Oob with the same build, Key Plus 2, Super Minus 1, Secret Measures and Spiritual Control on default AI. So, I was actually, I just got done recording a video for the Sands where they requested a B1 build test for uh, Raditz. I was explaining to him, them, that uh, to really utilize the full power of a B1 build, you gotta have a dodging ability. Rakum starts it off already, going up to max power. You know, there's that ability to have a, you know, a dodge like a Wild Sense or a, uh, or, uh, you know, after image strikes is what makes it powerful, a B1 build powerful. If you're just gonna use it just because you have ooh a super explosive wave by Rakum already, and default runs right into it with a B1, connects. That charge rate isn't terrible, and so far Rakum is showing him. Yeah. And I definitely think that Oop is definitely a candidate for a B1 build, having the ability to wild sense and dodge out of the way like that. You know, also with a max power, you know, they were just giving it to him because he just had a max power, and I'm just like, yeah, but it's the dodge that he's missing. But Rakum is showing promise. Look at the dodges, the dodges. Charges up back up to max power from Rakum. High speed clash. Default wins. Rakum using his max power to the best of his ability. With the juggle! Oh my god! 10k points of damage from Raccoon! 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 <laughs> Woo! If, that, if that's what we're going with a B1 build, I don't think we might have some. That was impressive. That was impressive. Like I said, the charge rate isn't terrible. Uh, of course, when we go with, if we actually decide to go with it, uh, definitely going to be uh, switching uh, secret arts. He he doesn't have to come out, and the the charge penalty is not really worth it. Uh, BBP from default. So we switch that out for Capito secret art. Maybe give him uh, fighting spirit. Maybe. You know, just to, just to increase the charge rate, make it a little bit better. And default's taking this one. But Raccoon doesn't want to back off. Raccoon charging up. BBP from default connects. Top to the very limit from default connects. Super explosive wave and ultimate by default it should be over. Yeah. No. They're both impressive. They're both impressive. Let's do it again. Default starting off with a pretty good melee combo. A grab from default. Default already using his wild sense. The throw from Raccoon. Looks like he activated his wild sense. Nice dodge by Raccoon. Alright, Raccoon said that last match was a fluke. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Wild sense by Raccoon. Raccoon just loves to do that front flip kick. Super combo on my heart. Kinda connects, kinda falls out of it. Wild sense from Raccoon. A grab from Raccoon. B1 builds are, builds are kinda different, you know? With melee builds, of course you want them to do melee. With B2 builds or spam, of course you want them to do spam or B2. With B1 builds, 
just do what you do. If you want, if you want to use your energy and do some B2s, great. If you want to use your energy and fight, great. If you want to use your blast stocks, max power for Raccoon, and and dodge, great. You want to go to max power, great. You know, the B1 build is a looser type of uh, type of build. It's it's pretty much just do what you do to the best of your ability using the exploits of B1. Super Kamehameha! Dodged by default. Wild Sense from Akuma again. Wild Sense from default. Power to the very limit from default. High Speed Clash. Akuma wins. Akuma charging. Super Kamehameha! Misses. Barely. Misses. Nonetheless. Wild Sense from Akuma. Super Kamehameha! From default connects. 8.4k points of damage. Power up to the very limit from default again. And Raccoon wins. Alright, go right, so Raccoon will be facing the winner of the next two facing. Uh, we'll be getting them in a sec. We are back. Alright, and we are back. So, we got Oob with Tien AI versus Oob with Yajirobe AI, and the winner will be facing off against Raccoon. So far, the build is looking pretty good. It's, lo it's looking like it makes sense. So, like I said, uh, the charge rate isn't terrible with the key plus two when he's in a uh, charge penalty state. Uh, like I said, I'd probably just uh, throw Fighting Spirit on top just to make sure. Yajirobe already going up to max power. Super Kamehameha connects for almost 10k points of damage. You know, the spiritual control is working, the, well, well, the secret measure, which will be Kabito's secret art, will also be working. So, it seems like, uh, so far, Yadirobi going back up to max power again. Oh my god, Yadirobi, calm down. TNAI charging up naturally and going up to full power. We've got a high-speed clash here. Yadirobi AI wins and ends it with a super Kamehameha. BBP from TN, high-speed clash again. This time Tien wins, stays in max power. A lot of dodging. BBP from Tien, dodged by Yajirobe. Yajirobe is now behind Tien. Tsukameha from Tien connects for 6.6k. Tries to get off the power to very limits, but Yajirobe doesn't let him. This is a very fast-paced battle. <laughs> it's hard to commentate. All right, Tien with the throw. Tien charging up. A couple of rush blasts from Yajirobe from some charging up. Can Yajirobe end this? Yes, Yajirobe wins. All right, let's fight again. So the, the build is looking promising. If we could have three builds for each character, I think that would be amazing. Three completely different builds to keep everybody on their toes for Season 6. Wild Sense from TN kicks Yadrobi in the back of the head. A throw from TN. A couple of rush blasts while Yadrobi's on the ground from TN. It's another thing that makes Uba a good candidate for B1. He naturally just likes to dodge out of the way, so stacked it on top of Wild Sense. Power to the very limit from TN connects. While Yajirobe charges up naturally. Wild Sense from Yajirobe kicks Tien in the back of the head. BBP from Tien. High Speed Clash. Tien wins and continues with the BBP. Connects for 9k points of damage. Powers up to the very limit. BBP from Yajirobe connects. Oh my god, it's hard to commentate because everything is happening so fast. For a 7k plus damage, then he powers up to the very limit. Super Kamehameha from Tien missed. BBP from Yajirobe connects. For 9k points damage, and Yajirobe back at max power again. Yajirobe with the juggle, blocked by Tien. Tien with a little bit of a juggle. As much as he can pull off not being in max power for almost 8k points of damage. Power up to the very limit from TN. BBP from TN. Super explosive wave and ultimate by Yadirobe. He's gonna run right into it. 
connects for 11k points of damage. BBT from Tien. Connects. For 7k points of damage. 7.5k points of damage. Both of them have a charge penalty. Both of them charging. Like I said, throw on Fighting Spirit and he'll be okay. BBP. High speed clash. Tien wins it. Can Tien take this to round two? Super Kamehameha from Tien. Dodged. A throw from Tien. And we are going on to round three. You know, because they were both on their last bar of health. Fighting Spirit plus the, the key plus two would have been plenty to get him out of that charge penalty and allow him to get off some last amount of fighting. Power up to the very limit from Tien. Super Kamehameha. Misses. A grab from Yajirobe. Pretty nice melee combo from Yajirobe. Ends it with a grab. Tien with the throw. Power up to the very limit from Tien again. Super combo Emeha. Misses again. Come on, Tien. Power up to the very limit from Yajirobe. BBP from Yajirobe connects before Tien can get off the Super Kamameha. Connects for 9k points of damage. And Yajirobe charges right back out of his charge penalty real quick. BBP from Yajirobe connects. That charge rate still good. BBP from Yajirobe connects again. Yajirobe be spamming the BBP though. I think we may have something here. Wild Sense dodged. Dodger Yajirobe. I think Yajirobe may have this. I think Yajirobe will be facing off against Raccoon. Tian behind him. Oh, broke. Broke him. Looks like Yadrib is getting some distance. Tian connects with the full power. Throw from Tian. Ended with a coming huh? but dodged by Yajirobe. Tian charged up at his, his charge from Tian. Charged back up the max power. BBP from Tian. Kicked out of it by Yajirobe. At least he doesn't have his charge penalty. Yajirobe charging. Super Kamehameha while Yajirobe tried to do power up to the, to the limit and doesn't make it. Gets hit for 7k points of damage. BBP from Yajirobe connects and it's over. Yajirobe wins. A little bit of derping at the end but still takes it. So, Raccoon shall be facing off against Yajirobe. No, so Alright, so let me get that set up. Be right back. Alright, we got the finals here. So we got Raccoon. Versus Yajirobe. This build is looking impressive. Like I said, we just switched the secret arts, uh, no, the secret measures for Kibito's secret art and then slap on Fighting Spirit. I definitely think that we may have something here as a B1 build. So he'll have three different builds. And uh, Power up to the very limit from Yajirobe begins already. He loves to do that. That's his thing. BBP connects. Nine K points of damage. Yajirobe charging up. Already have his charge penalty. BBP again connects. All right, I think we might be going with Yajirobe. <laughs> he likes to spam. Connects for seven point four K points of damage. Yajirobe charging up again. Super Kamehameha misses. Power up to the very limit from Yajirobe again. BBP again. Dodged by Raccoon this time. Super Kamehameha in the face of. Rak Raccoon hasn't even touched Yajirobe yet. There you go. Finally, hit him. Yajirobe is already putting in that work. A couple of kicks, ankle kicks. Power to the very limit from Yajirobe again connects. And it seems like he wants to do a little bit of infinite combo here. 
for 8k points of damage. Oh my god. So we're coming on misses. Yajirobe has dominated this fight. Wild Sense for the win. Yajirobe wins. Whoo! Yajirobe, calm down, man. Too good. Top to the very limit from Raccoon. Yajirobe charging up. Raccoon with a woo! Woo! Look at that melee combo. Raccoon is using his max power efficiently, but then misses with the super combo on huh? And charge penalty. Powers up to the very limit again. Like I said they're both impressive so far. They've both been doing really well. The build is impressive. The the the, care, the AI is impressive. Pretty good melee combo from Raccoon. Really utilizing that that max power super combo, huh? And Yajirobe just eats it for 12k points of damage. Wild sense back of the head of Yajirobe. I think we're taking this to round three. I don't know. One dominated the other, and the other one dominated the other. These, these rounds are just kind of completely invalid. Power to the very limit from Raccoon connects again. Pretty good melee combo from Yajirobe. Top to the very limit connects. Super Kamehameha connects. And we're going on to round three. I think we might have to do uh, a 2v2 and have him come in with uh, the Fighting Spirit and the Kabito Secret Art. Top to the very limit from Raccoon already. Getting it already. Full power from Yajirobe charged up naturally. Both of them are at max power. Super Explosive Wave and Ultimate from Raccoon connects for 14k points of damage. Power up to the very limit from Raccoon again. BBP from from Yajirobe dodged by Raccoon. Pretty good melee combo. Super Kamehameha and another Ultimate from Raccoon. Super Explosive Wave connects for 11k points of damage. And at this rate, it looks like Raccoon will be taking this. A throw from Raccoon and a chase. Power up to the very limit again from Raccoon. A grab and a throw from Raccoon. Well, we see a third ultimate. Just no, just a very impressive melee combo. BBP connects from Yajirobe. Up to the very limit from Yajirobe. BBP dodged by Yajirobe. A throw from Raccoon. BBP from Raccoon connects and Raccoon wins. They were both impressive. It was all impressive. The build's impressive. Like I said, I think we should do a 2v2 and then have Oop tag in with the Fighting Spirit and the Computer Secret Art and see how they do. Um, they both were impressive. I think we should just give them another opportunity with that build. So I think that the next test we should do. Someone, whoever in front, I don't, I don't know, I don't care right now. But the two tagging in uh, will be Oob with Raccoon with the build, except instead of Secret Arts, have Kibito Secret Art. I mean, instead of Secret Magic, Kibito Secret Art and Fighting Spirit, and then also Yadrobi, and see how they do with that particular build. Cause that seems like the build that we're going to be going with instead of this come out with you know the penalty, the charge penalty, the B ones. Because you know what, the faster you charge the B ones, the better. So there's no charge penalty of B ones with. Uh, Kibito Secret Art, but there is with Secret Measures, and it's one po it's one point less, which allows us to do the Fighting Spirit. All right, so I hope you found this test very helpful. I did. I I'm very impressed, and I definitely think that we should put this as Oob's third build. And I think that we're pretty much done with Oob. Oob is pretty much done. We are done with Oob already this early in the off season. We got his three builds. So, thank you for supporting me as a tester. Looking forward to doing some more tests for you. Thanks for watching.